Angela Hill and Misha Cupcake Tate. Well, this is a belt that has changed hands quite a bit, and this number one Bantamweight contender believes it will again here tonight as she makes the walk for this title fight. She believes this title shot should have come earlier. She's not caught up in all that now. It hasn't been during fight week. She's focused on the champion, and you see her staring her down right now. Crowd going crazy. She believes she is the best Bantamweight in the world and believes in a matter of moments here, she will be the new champion. So here she is, the undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. How about the confidence as she makes the walk here tonight? She wants to get in there, take care of business, and go eat some buffalo wings in the back. She's been the best 135er in the world now for some time. Another title defense, what's in front of her? She doesn't try to make the moment too big. And even though the challenger has a lot of momentum here tonight, she knows she's the hunted for a reason and is looking to prove that she is still the best in the world at 135. tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So two years, the gap in age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC bantamweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a grappler, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 9 losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting the challenger, Misha Kakek and now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 15 wins, 12 losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of San Diego, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your car. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one. This is some old school matchmaking, right? Classic striker versus grappler matchup, and given what these fighters have said all week, you expect them to try to take a similar approach as they've taken in past fights. Yes, the whole life has led to this, right? You don't change what works. The grappler understands that if she is able to get this fight to the ground, she is in her comfort zone. But for the striker, she has to understand as long as she is at distance, she has the advantage and she feels most comfortable. Hill's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. That's a nice job by her there to reverse the position on the ground. She was in trouble. Now she is the one handing out the punishment. Great change of position very quickly. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. Oh, and 
she connects there. Beautiful punch. Great punch, but what's next? What is she going to use to follow it up? Man, her striking looks clean tonight. Timing on point. Her timing on point. Her accuracy is on point. She's very busy. She's in a good flow. Under three minutes now to go in round one. That was just going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> nice punch by Tate. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Man, her head is just getting snapped back like a turtle. Beautiful combination once again, and she just hasn't been able to adjust. Striking defense should not be employed by getting punched in the face. She has to move her head, keep her hands up, to avoid taking all these big shots. Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Huge knee lands from the Typhoon. Another big takedown. Take hey, getting that ground and down going and landing. Nice hammer fist. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Tate's got the head. Let's see if she can finish off this guillotine attempt. Our guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Just be a matter of time. <laughs> and there it is. Unbelievable. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, no doubt about it. That is some opportunistic grappling right there. And nice finishing instincts as well. You see a lot of fighters get the dominant position but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap. No problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. So there she is celebrating with her corner, the queen of the 135ers, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. And how about the method of victory tonight as she gets it done by submission? Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 41 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. So she is the new UFC Bantamweight champion, joining an illustrious list of former champions in this division, Misha Tate, Ronda Rousey. She's on that list now. Right next to Amanda Nunes. I mean, you are now amongst the legends. Congratulations.